Because I was the one who did just the top of this, Kevin did the bass, so it was interesting. Uh, one of the things I enjoyed most was doing the, uh, the cubbies, because that was sort of like this very fine, thin um, jewelry box almost. Everything was very dainty. And, hmm. uh, that's true of most pigeonhole assemblies and cubbies. They're very dainty and delicate, and it was fun uh, not only doing that and all the joinery, but doing the uh, the secret drawer. <laughs> right, and we can't reveal who the right. secret drawer is unless you buy one. Exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, even the customer doesn't know where it is. One of the things I really like about the desk was the use of symmetry in terms of all of the paneling and um, in the drawer fronts. If you look at the uh, pigeonhole assembly, the drawer fronts are one board, um, including the curls that you see down below. So that was, uh, it's those little details that I really uh, enjoy doing and hope that people notice when I build yeah. these. You may take a few great-grandchildren down the line, yeah. or great-grand-nephews. Right. One thing that I really enjoyed was the collaboration between, you know, all different people in the workshop. Yeah. Whether it was Jeremy, who did the pretty picture, or Chip, who did the measure drawings, or you, who did a lot of the furniture making, or Kevin, or myself giving some input as he went along, or everybody, and Marty, or I thought that was, it was a real testament to a, a workshop. Yeah, everybody got along really well uh, working together on this project. It was fun, it was fun for me working with Kevin, and as well as Chip and Jeremy and Marty and yourself, um, but teaming up with other members of uh, the shop to produce something is rewarding because you, uh, you're in it together. Yeah. Um, it's a pretty major expose of our skills. Yeah, certainly. So you get uh, the best of, you know, everybody's skills at hand. Yeah. Yeah, this piece has been the, the main attraction in the viewing area for the past few weeks. It's uh, the sample of the tambour that we did, and we had to find out if it would, um, you know, if it would slide smoothly along the curves that we designed. And so that's what uh, you see here. This is what it looks like the roller coaster. That's the track that the tambour rides in. And then uh, this is the tambour. The model of you know the size of the tambour, um, and it ran really smooth, so it uh, indicated to us that we could apply this to the full-size cherry um, piece, and it, it was wonderful. It ran really well.